Paano to? Medyo malaki ako ganyan. I'm not shy about it anymore. Hey Pepsters, this is Pia Wurzbach and I'm about to do a social media raid for Pep. That picture is a photo that we took together in Bodrum, Turkey. And usually when Jeremy and I go on vacation, talagang we switch off. I know we took a picture. Pero hanggang ganun lang. We picture lang kami para sa memories namin. And then we put our phones aside. Tapos we enjoy time under the sun. We love to swim. I posted that picture kasi medyo matagal-tagal na since we did a beach trip together. And also, I miss him. Okay, that photo, I uh, usually nagko content shoot ako for different brands and high end luxury items. On me, that was the only copy I had. Talagang inalaga ang kusha na hindi siya ma crease, hindi siya ma manchahan. Kasi kailang ko ng magbangko ng pictures for promotion. So sabi ko, akin na yung book, kunin niyo na ng picture. And that became one of the promotional material. Oy, grabe. Throwback, kami ni Pauline. So yun yung mga workshops shopper days namin. And kami yung laging magkasama sa workshop. Kasi magka-batch din naman kami sa ABS noon. And mga nene pa kami niyan. Pauline is one of my best friends in showbiz. And we go way, way back. As you can see, magkamukha pa talaga kami. I really miss those times. And I also really miss her. Oh my God! So yun ang studio pic ko. Shameless studio pic. Akala ko noon cool yung ganyang pants. Ewan ko ba? Kasi medyo gusto ko yung kakaiba yung mga outfit ko. Yan yung kuha ko. Hindi pa ako marunong mag-fierce niyan. Hindi pa ako marunong umaura. Pero kito nyo naman, fearless ako sa fashion choices ko. <laughs> If Beyonce can do it, so can I. Wow! So actually, wallpaper ko si Beyonce nung mga time na yan. Meron ako nakitang photoshoot niya na meron siyang suot na crown. Sabi ko, anything I do pag challenging, like ko sinasabi, nako kung kaya ni Beyonce, kaya ko rin. Okay, that iconic moment. Medyo blur na sa akin yung moment na yan. Hindi ko na alam kung nasan ba yung mga camera dahil ang daming nangyayari. But I think that was a time na nag-sync in na sa akin na eto na, na-crown na ako, ako pala yung winner. And kaway-kaway sa mga Pilipino dyan. Nandiyan pa ba kayo? <laughs> Yun siguro yung thought ko ng moment na yan. Oh, yes, that photo shoot. So, si Angelia Ong yung nag um, arrange ng photo shoot na yan. And siya ang nagkaroon ng idea na gumawa tayo ng Universe, World, International, and Earth photo shoot. So, we got everybody together. So, tulungan kami. And then we submitted the photos to Harper's Bazaar Vietnam in that moment. So, all of the creative direction was up to us, to Elds and BJ. Hi, and what an iconic shoot. One for the books, for sure. Oh, okay. Yan yung wedding week namin. I believe a few days before the wedding. Yun yung favorite kong look ko, yung pagka medyo tan ako. Ang ganda nung lighting kasi nasa labas ka, nasa ilalim ng araw. Tapos kumuha lang ako ng no makeup selfie. So sabi ko, sige, post ko na to. Kasi para naman iba, di ba? Hindi yung parang palagi kang nakaayos, palagi kang nakamakeup. Gusto ko rin ipakita yung side ko na no makeup at the beach. A lot of your followers love that about you na hindi ka takot ipakita na wala kang makeup, pati yung... Yung bilbil ko. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. Hindi, at this age, hindi na. As in, siguro if you ask me when I was competing pa lang, like 2013, 14, or 15, siguro mas medyo makukonscious ako. Lalo na na ako yung representative. Tapos, people can be perfectionists, especially in if you're representing the Philippines, you gotta be like... I felt like I had to fit the mold, like I couldn't, you know, show imperfections, kanyan. But nagbago na yung trend ngayon. Uh, we're becoming more accepting, kahit sa pageants ngayon, body positivity na, and wala na mga height restrictions, age restrictions, even gender restrictions. So inclusive na ngayon, which is great, kasi it's a huge relief for us, because we don't have to keep trying to look perfect anymore. And honestly, as you get older, you stop caring about paano to, medyo malaki ako ganyan. I'm not shy about it anymore because normal naman, kahit naman sino, pagka, kahit athlete po, pagka nakaganon na pose, meron lalabas na folds ng skin. So, it's normal. And I was like, pakita na natin kasi yan naman yung too. Social media is already so curated and then it's also our responsibility to show them that bodies are real and they change. It changes, it stretches, it folds. 
So, oh yes, the moment of the wedding. So I decided to go barefoot. May dala akong dalawang heels nung time na yan, bagong bili ko pa. In the end, hindi ko rin nagamit kasi lulubog yung takong dun sa buhangin. Pero I felt really comfortable in that moment kasi yun na yung moment I didn't want to care about how I look like anymore. Honestly, before walking, I was so sweaty kasi humid. Talagang bumagsak na yung kulot ng buhok ko, ang pawis-pawis ko. Tuwalya ang nilagay nila sa akin because I was drenched in sweat. Tapos, Binlat ko na lang yung face ko. Sabi ko, ito na yun. I'm getting married. Who cares about how you look? It's about the moment. Actually, nung moment na magkaharap na kami ni Jeremy, um, tumataas na yung tide. So, pumapasok. As in, nababasa na yung gown ko. But, kebs na yun, girl. It's about the moment. Oh, the one with the Louvre. Okay, so that was a very special event because they closed down the Louvre just for us to have dinner there um, with a brand. So it's very rare for you to catch a moment without a lot of people around you. It was just really nice to have that iconic picture in front of the Louvre. And what's more iconic is when we went inside, we had dinner, we were inside the Louvre. I'm so lucky because how many people will get to say that they've experience this and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give me a follow on my socials and also give pep a follow on their socials and don't forget to like and share on pep tv